How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review and tonight we're going to be uh, dipping into a uh, Belgian Ale. Uh, Belgian Ale I've never heard of up until a couple weeks ago. Um, I was driving home from New Jersey, uh, popped into a, just a local liquor store and just kind of caught my eye. I got two bottles of this uh, with um, two different vintages. I ended up grabbing off the shelf and what caught my eye, one was the labing was really ghetto to the point where it's like flaking off and there's like glue off to the sides and it's just kind of a red hot mess. That kind of turned me on. And two, they're older. Um, the one I grabbed, I drank one of these already. I brought it to a bottle share. It was well received. Um, it was a newer bottle. Forget what year that was. But uh, this one on the back here, it says best before 2012. Um, so I'm assuming it's about a 2007 beer, which is right up my alley. And this beer is Nostradamus, um, which is a Belgian, says Belgian brown ale here. More like a Belgian strong dark ale. Um, from when I tasted it before, it was more even like a Belgian style quad. Um, but it's from uh, Brewery Caracol um, from Belgium. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I had this at a bottle share and it was very well received. So I'm kind of psyched about pump, dumbing in this one because it's a bit older and if you've watched any of our reviews you know we like their old beers so um so yeah i mean first things first like i said labeling super ghetto like super ghetto like this is like it feels almost like it was printed off like somebody's printer on like with like a sticky paper that's how ghetto it is um the graphics on it are really i dig it and, and, and even though i say it's ghetto i dig it graphics are pretty cool really just looks like a beer that somebody bottled in their house almost like it's 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 not refined and like i said in a good way so uh on the front it says belgian brown ale um has a little nymph kind of guy a little sh snail nymph kind of guy in the front um brewery caracol up top nostradamus and nine percent alcohol on the back same thing like i said the label's ghetto it's like flaking off it's not really holding on there um it says uh you know just serve what temperature to serve Keep in a cool place, artisan Belgian style brown ale, nine percent alcohol. And that's pretty much it. And then the date, you know, so there ain't much to it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm kind of excited to get into this one. I'm always wary of the Belgian cork. Sometimes I have them fly off on me. Who's criminal with that? Uh, this is like not easy. Nice. Um, Saint Bernardus. Saint Bernardus. Big bottles, big cork and cage bottles, man. I've can't tell you how many times I've removed the cage on them and the cork just goes flying out, so better be safe than sorry. Um, yeah, so let's see what we got here. I can smell the goodness from here. It's it's got a beautiful oh it smells fantastic. I know it's gonna be good. Um, fantastic head. You know what I mean? Really, really dark beige color. Um, really nice two finger head. Like I said, color is fantastic. It's receding quite quickly, but leaving that nice little kind of creamy top to it, which to me almost is almost a guarantee of it being a great beer. Um, as far as body wise, like I said, it's not. I mean, it's dark, but it's more of like. A quaddish type color, like your double quaddish type color. It's like a like a dense brownish color as opposed to a dark dark brown, um, tinting towards black that you usually get in your spelt and built in strong dark ales. So yeah, it's more of a quad looking uh, color to me. And it seems to want to settle right about there, which you know it's a good sign for your Belgian doubles, quads, strong dark ales, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what the nose has. No. It's just, it's just so good. Um, I mean, it's it smells like uh, if I'm gonna relate it to another beer, it's like a Guden makes a the Emperor, uh, which is their Kaiser de Blau, which is their Emperor of Blue, um, which is their seasonal Belgian strong dark quad, and it smells very similar to that. <sighs> like just that beautiful malty bready. Um, toffiness that you typically get with your Belgian um, darker ales and your Belgian quads. Oh, this smells like good, good sweet bread. 
something that uh, nice snack right before bed almost like a cake or a candy type smell decent amount of malts not too much yeast in it which is nice sometimes you get that with your Belgians but overall it's a great nose on it Let's see what she has taste wise cheers That's really good. This is really good beer. You can definitely taste the age on this one. It tastes like it has the slightest bit of oxidation in a bad way on this particular bottle. It's definitely not the beer. This is infinitely still drinkable and it tastes really, really good, but you can tell it's probably about at its not its peak but it's starting to decline and it's good that I cracked it now um, but it's very very malty very bready not overly sweet but sweet enough carbonation is really nice of it I didn't see a ton of carbonation in the body just because of the um, darkness of it but um, it's very effervescent when you drink it it's like um, exploding in your mouth a bit which is really really nice. It's keeping a nice ring head around it with its carbonation. But all in all, it's a really good beer. I'm super psyched that I picked it up. Like I said, I was just kind of randomly driving through New Jersey, stopped at a place and saw it, and just kind of took a flyer on it. And uh, I think it's an absolute winner. Um, as far as me grading it on a Belgian. Strong dark ale um, grade. I'd probably give it a really good grade, like up there, like a 93, 94. To be perfectly honest, it's just that good of a beer. I mean, it, it's super well balanced. Um, really nice, smooth drinkability to it. And just really in my wheelhouse when it comes to what I like out of a Belgian style ale. Or Belgian ale, not style ale. Um, so, yeah, I give it like a 94. Um, as far as availability, Again, like I said, I've never really seen it before, so it's a tough one to rate, so I'm going to have to give it really low. I'll give it like a 2, only because I know where I can get it, so if I wanted to go there and get it. So uh, I give it a 2 on that scale, and as far as value, it was like really cheap. I mean, for this, I think it was like $12. I mean, usually when you're talking about your, you know, your imported from Belgian style big bottles, you can get them about that price, you know, your Latrap doubles. Um some of your middle of the road stuff but for an obscure brewery like this where i looked it up on um if um uh, beer advocate is is uh correct i mean they only have 10 beers listed on there on what what beers they do make so it's not like they make a ton of beer i've never seen it before so chances are they don't have huge distribution so the, for the fact that it's at that price point is pretty fantastic so on a value scale i'll give it an eight so overall rating i'll give it like a 94 um, as far as a uh, availability, I'd give it two, and I'd give it an eight on a value scale just because it's just that good. So yeah, I mean, if you see this floating around, actually, based off of this one beer, if you see any stuff by this uh, brewery Caracol, which is C-A-R-A-C-O-L-E, um, I would have probably give it a whirl just in general based off of how good this is. But if you see this specific um, version, Nostradamus, Nostradamus, which is says Belgian brown ale, but like I said, it's more of a quaddish style ale, even though it was listed on the internet at random places of Belgian Strong Dark. Um, I definitely give it a whirl, especially at the price point. Fantastic beer. Um, so yeah, it's another review in the books. Um, Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. I um, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you're watching, I'm glad you watched the whole thing. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, gripes, whatever, you can always leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you would like to check us out, Mm. I'm taking another sip. If you like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Massive Beers. Um, any of those places. We're most active on Instagram, um, posting beers that are review updates and beers that we're drinking that we're not reviewing, stuff like that. So if you're going to follow us anywhere, try to follow us there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, another review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a good beer yourself right now. And hopefully we see you next time. Cheers.